over here you can see that I have an object in the canvas. So now let's add in animation preset to it and work around with its easing options. So to do that, I'm just going to go to the animation pane and then let's say I want to work around with uh, the scale up animation right here. I'm just going to keep it right here. So now as I zoom in the timeline, you can see the arrow right there. So if I were to go over here, play this around, you can see that it zooms in just like that. Let me just increase the animation timing of it as well. So you can see that it zooms in just like that. Let's say I want to change this around and change the type of the animation. That is, I want it to be much more smoother or maybe bouncy and so forth. So in order to do that, I can simply right click over here. And here you can see that there is an option to enable easing. So right now it's set to auto, but I can change it out. Let's say, for example, to exponential in and out. So let's see how that works out. So it goes out and it slowly has A's in and A's out and it's much more smoother. I can go around, change it to linear and let's see how that looks like. It just zooms in right there and it just stops. So let me just make the animation faster and see how that looks like. It just zooms and stops. There's no easing in and easing out. But if I were to go over here into exponential, you can see that it is much more smoother. You can also go around and choose spring. So let's see how that looks like. It just springs out as you can see and just pops into place. And then there's bounce right here, which bounces out the animation. So you can see that just by a few little right clicks and by choosing the type of animation you want, you can make the objects much more interesting to look at. Especially when you have a lot of objects right here. Let's say for example, just like this and you have aligned everything out. So let me just go around, align this. I'm going to move this around as well, just like this. I'm just going to move these and all of it is recorded. So I'm just going to move these around, uh, around just like this. I'm just going to move these as well and then gra grab this. Let me just create multiple copies just like that. And I have to make sure that I'm on the end point while I'm moving out everything because everything is recorded just like this. And now I'm just going to grab this, copy and paste this around as well. Move everything around, maybe at the top just like this and then move everything around over here. Grab it onto the left and move everything down. So now what I can do is I can align it. Let's say I have a lot of options right here. I can align it just like that so that it'll pop up onto the place just like that as time goes by. And you can see that multiple animations will make it much more interesting to look at. So you can see that I've aligned everything out just like this. And if I were to play this out now, you can see that now everything pops up onto place just like that. And it is much more interesting to look at. So just like that, you can see that this is how it works like, as you can see. So that is how you can use easing in animations and then use it to, uh, uh, to make the animations much more interesting on your projects. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.